Oh honey, I'm so proud of you working as a freelance artist and making your own money. Thanks mom, I'm really happy. Well, you also know what this means, right? That I got that dough, cha-ching! And also, you'll be off your father and my health insurance plan. Wait, what? Yes, I emailed you some options for health insurance plans. Seriously? Navigating health insurance is difficult. In fact, it's one of the least fun parts of being an adult. On top of that, depending on where you live, it's different in every country. Today, let's learn some useful English for understanding and navigating the health insurance system, especially if you're in the United States. I'm Samantha J. Moneybags health insurance broker, which means I'm a trained professional that can help people like you enroll in a health insurance plan. Just look how confusing it is trying to do it on your own. Hi, sweetheart. You said you need my help? Mom, I'm trying to choose an insurance plan, but I don't understand these words. Well, darling, I am here to help you with this. The first word you need to know is premium. Premium is money you pay every month in order to have an insurance plan. Some insurance plans have higher premiums and some have lower premiums. Like I have to pay like every month? That's right, sweetheart. And a deductible is an amount of money you must pay throughout the year before your insurance company starts paying for your expenses. For example, if your deductible is $1,000, you are responsible for paying up until you reach that $1,000, and after that is when your insurance starts paying. Wait, so I have to pay this premium every month and also pay this deductible just to go to the doctor? That's right, pumpkin. Low deductible plans are more expensive because they have higher premiums. High deductible plans are cheaper or have lower premiums. Ay, ay, ay. Did somebody say high deductible? A high deductible health insurance plan can be a good option for young people who don't need much medical care. That's because it has lower, cheaper premiums. Let's take a look at a health insurance card. A copay is a flat fee you must pay every time you receive a medical service. For example, $35 every time you go to see the doctor. A provider is any person, medical, nurse, or dentist, or institution, hospital, or clinic that provides medical care. PCP means primary care provider. This is usually a family physician, and it's the first person you go see when you have a problem. Later, they can refer you to a specialist if necessary. What's a specialist? A specialist is a physician who specializes in a certain field of medicine. For example, a podiatrist is a specialist for your feet. Rx copay. We're talking about prescription medicine. That is the copay, which you remember is the amount you pay every time you buy medication. We have generic, which is a more common brand, and we have the special brands, which usually charge you a little bit more. I wonder what plan Erica will choose. Let's get back to her. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And sign up for Patreon. Okay, mom, how about this plan? Hmm, yes, I see the premium is 450 per month and the deductible is 3,000 and coinsurance is 30%. 
So I have to pay $450 per month, but then still reach my $3,000 deductible before insurance pays my bills. And even after that, I'm responsible for 30%. So if I had a major surgery that cost $15,000, I would have to pay $3,000 to reach my deductible and after that still pay 30% or $3,600? What if my medical bill was like $50,000? That would suck me dry. Ooh, but look here though. This plan has out-of-pocket limits of $7,500. So once you reach that, your insurance should pay everything. <sighs> okay, I, I guess I'll just buy this one. Wait, did, did you check the exclusions? Exclusions? Exclusions are specific conditions or services that your health plan will not cover. It is extremely important to read the exclusions before you purchase a plan. Here it says pre-existing conditions of diabetes and cancer are excluded with a waiting period of two years. What? A pre-existing condition is a health issue you know you have at the time you're purchasing health insurance. If you know you have cancer and you purchase this plan, you will need to wait for two years before your insurance covers expenses from any cancer treatments. Good thing being a wonderful, talented <laughs> daughter isn't a pre-existing condition because you would never get coverage. <sighs> well, it looks like Erica's figuring out the nuts and bolts of the health insurance marketplace. But there's a few more terms she and you need to know. In-network refers to doctors or hospitals that are covered by your insurance. Check out your company's website to find your in-network providers. Out-of-network are doctors and hospitals that are not covered by your insurance. You want to avoid these because you'll end up paying for 100% of the claim. Oh, what's a claim you say? A claim is the bill your doctor sends after treating you to your health insurance company so that she can get paid. But that's enough from me. Let's get back to Erica and see how she's doing. Mom, this is so expensive. I don't want to be an adult anymore. I know, sugar plum. But you know, there are some government subsidies and programs that help people afford insurance. I'm listening. People with certain incomes can qualify for Medicaid, which is low cost medical coverage for people with low incomes. And there are also premium tax credits for people with incomes between 100 and 400% of the poverty line. This is money the government gives you every month to help pay for those insurance premiums. Why is this so complicated? Well, you might want to talk to a health insurance broker. They can help you decide which plan is right for you. Ugh, I don't want to pay an expert. Oh, they don't charge you. They help you for free because they're paid by the health insurance companies. I actually know a broker you could call right now, Samantha J. Moneybags. She's the best in the business. Samantha J. Moneybags? That sounds like a name I can trust. I'll call now. Hello. Yes, absolutely. I'd be happy to help you choose a health insurance plan that's right for you. I've got to help this customer, but I hope you learned a thing or two about the vocabulary of health insurance. It can be confusing even if you speak English perfectly, so never be afraid to ask for help. With Samantha J Money Bags, the money is in the bag. Thanks, Samantha J Money Bags. Thanks, Miss Money Bags.